be finding out that uh, one of my friends that was in the military, he was actually laid up in the hospital. Um, and then I also just found out from uh, my longtime friend Brendan's dad that because um, he had been trying to get a hold of me for the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. um, I just found out that Brendan actually just passed away a couple months ago from, um, I guess he was, because um, he used to do a lot of weed. Well, one of his buddies uh, handed in some weed and they didn't know that it was laced with anything. They had no idea. Well, Brendan got the worst end of it and actually ended up dying from a fentanyl overdose because of it. God, that's so yeah. scary because we don't have that sort of shit here. Like, like, you guys are lucky. yeah, we're still like, well, I mean, you know, I mean, you're very lucky to find heroin over here. Like, we're, we're very basic with the drugs. <laughs> exactly, like, but, uh, my fucking dad ended up uh, going on the mass hall's panel talking with them. And now he's in their little fucking group talking about how, oh, uh, we're coming for you, little man. Like, I'll, I'll actually send you a screenshot of it here, the one that I grabbed, anyway. Let's see, where's the... Sorry, I'm just sending Crystal a message because I do apologize. When I thought I'd lost you, oh, I, thought, I oh, sent oh, Crystal no. a message just to make sure you were okay. But um, but I was just saying, look, it's fine. Don't worry, I found you. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> but thanks very yeah. much. But yeah, that's on. That was on uh, the. I believe that was either in the group oh, or gosh. on his or on his page. That's a lot. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, and this is the man that used to be my dad. That's the man that fucking helped my mom raise me. No worse than families, man. Families are some of the worst people out there. Like, I mean, I, I don't, I don't have anything to do with my family. I go the fucking mental. <laughs> so, oh. Right, but it's like, and you know, and that's why I did that video, basically warning. I'm like, look, dude, like you don't want to see me as family. Okay, cool, whatever. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Like, you want to disown me just like my older sister did? Fine, cool, whatever. But don't be sitting there fucking threatening my life like that and believing these bullshit-ass lies that I'm asshole them tell all the fucking time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Like, and everybody, everybody knows how an asshole is. Like, we've all seen it. Like, she literally... Lies for the fucking views. Mm -hmm. Which okay. is honestly fucking disgusting. Wow. And you know, one, of, one of my friends uh, that knows about it, uh, one of my friends on Xbox that knows about what's going on, he said the same thing that everybody else has been saying. Yeah, you made a mistake. Yeah, you fucked up and it shouldn't have happened. But that doesn't mean you should get attacked for it. No, absolutely not. It's it's not like, right. It's not right. Yeah, and it's like he said. There's a difference between somebody getting illegally entrapped and falling for a troll the way that I did, and actually going out there and actually fucking doing something. Mhm. Mm like there's yeah. a total fucking difference there. Like that, I've seen firsthand so many people that fucking deserve to be gone after that have actually done pedophile shit. Mhm. Mm well, I mean, it's uh, like there's loads of people get um. There's like there's that guy on TikTok and there's like I mean he actually he had there's one of them and he's British. And he actually has a kid with, like, a 16-year-old. And it was, oh like, God. he was, like, 20 yards. Like, he's, oh, it was all a uh, vile. But, yeah, it's, like, it's not like you can say, I mean, all your girlfriends have been the same age as you. Right. Like, like um, 
Like every single ex that I've been with has been within the same age range as me. Mm-hmm. Yes. So it's like, hello. <laughs> like, I'm like not out of no, the mall hill. Like, just because it's... Like, just because it's like they all get on the bandwagon. Yeah, and that's basically what he's doing. He's fucking, he's fucking getting on the fucking, oh, let's troll Chance bandwagon. Man, fuck you, dude. Gosh. Is your, um, is, is your man okay? Because obviously that's her ex husband. So, like, that's like, that, that must be so hard for her. Oh, dude, like, she doesn't even want to, like, and I don't blame her for this, but she, flat out said it, she doesn't even want to think about it, which I don't blame mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, there must be a reason to split up, like, that, you know, so she, I, she might not, there might be even be things that she hasn't even told you, because you were a kid when it happens, and you protect your kids from oh, stuff, so oh, she oh, might well, actually know more. So when when I got older, like when I got older, like I found out everything and whatnot, which I don't mm -hmm. blame her for leaving him, mm -hmm. because he decided to choose alcohol over having a life with a family. Yeah, he basically chose drugs and alcohol and the biker life over having a family that actually gives a shit. Mhm. Mm well, yeah, like, it's about, but I mean, at least with your stepdad, like, no matter what, no matter, like, no matter what's happened, he obviously loves you, because he's stuck oh, yeah. through, no matter what, I mean, so many people would have just ran away, and been like, oh, bye, like, this is too hard. Oh, there like, was a couple times, there was a couple times where it almost happened, but thankfully it didn't. Mm-hmm. Because, because he kind of, like, realized, like, what was actually going on. Yeah. But it's like I, it's like I said in that video, you know, the way that I'm having to live, like, no one deserves to fucking live like this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's total fucking bullshit. It's like, I'm over here living my life, hanging out with my friends and my family, not bothering nobody, but yet, I'm made out, I'm made out to be this fucking awful fucking bad guy. Yeah. Like, and what's so fucked up is CDG and all these other trolls, they run around and make up all these screenshots Saying like, oh, he's talking to underage kids. Dude, how can I be doing that if I'm on live stream? Live streaming half the time. Like, how can I be doing that if I'm live streaming gameplay and music covers half the day, every fucking day, and then at night, eating dinner, and then coming back on and doing live streams for the rest of the night until I pass out? <laughs> And when yeah. I'm not doing that, and when I'm not oh. doing that, I'm usually hanging out with my on Facebook. Like, hello. <laughs> Fucking dumbasses. Swear to God. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm just, I'm, I'm just having a quick look and, like, catching up with everything. So, CVG's done a live. Um, then there's, like, then has Marty done one since? Is, um, I don't. Oh yeah, he does one, but he does on he did it on other people. Yeah, so, like I know that um, I know that Mass Hole did a live with my dad earlier, which God, he's no doing the rounds, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. because yeah. what they're trying to do is they're trying to use him to either have me killed or thrown in jail, which. Neither one of those is going to fucking happen. Did they not re does he not realize that they're using him? Like, surely he must either, realize. Either he doesn't realize it, or he does realize it and just doesn't give a shit. Oh. Well, I wonder, like, knowing him, it's probably the second one. He probably does know it and just doesn't care. 
<laughs> well, I think I would be like, I, I don't know, I think I would be a bit like insulted if somebody was just farming me for content. Like, you know, they weren't actually bothered about it. They just wanted well, to. Well, and I'm not trying to like sound insulting or anything, but it's like, you know what they say, you know, when you get old, the mind's the first thing to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when you get old. I, as sad as it is to say, that's the fucking truth of it. As sad as it is to say. <laughs> and apparently his mind is gone no. out the window. Yeah, because um, cause alcohol, it, it destroys your nerve endings. It destroys your brain endings. So it's like, it's, it's, not, very, it's not good for your brain at all. I know, and, that's, and what's so fucked up. And I told everybody, literally, before I did that, I basically told everybody, like, look, I've got a friend that's fucking laid up in the hospital, plus I have uh, my, my friend Brendan's dad, he's going to be filming the uh, the funeral tomorrow on live, so that, like, I can actually, like, not necessarily, like, you know, physically be there, but I can still, yeah. you know, be there in a sense, you know? Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, there's that, and I told people, I'm like, I told everybody, I'm like, it's going to be a while before I come back. Like, yeah. like, all this shit going on, like, I need a fucking break, because one, now I have my fucking former dad joining for my fucking head. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I got all this other stuff, and it's just like, it fucking sucks. Yeah. God. And what's so fucked up is now because of this whole thing with him, now whenever my mom gets up tomorrow, now I'm going to have to talk to her about getting a license to carry and, you know, basically get the stuff that I would need to basically protect myself. Yeah. Which fucking sucks. I shouldn't have to do that. No. That would be... Like, like, don't get me wrong, like, I understand the, you know, I understand the, you know, the carrying thing, the, I, I get it, you know, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's like, why would I want to resort to having to do that? Like, what happened to when I could just fucking go outside and walk around and not have to be an alert up here, not have to worry about shit? Mm-hmm. Like, it fucking sucks. Like, it's complete fucking bullshit. That's ter That's absolutely terrible. I... Well, and what's so fucked up is my friends tried reporting that Facebook group at least 30 different times. Hmm. And Facebook said the same thing to them that they said to me. Oh, this group isn't violating any terms of service. Uh, yeah, they kind of are. Yeah, there is, um, what did they report it for, the, that, uh, um, sometimes I want, if you, um, um, I know for a fact, I know for a fact that they reported it for harassment, I know that. Yeah, if you report for harassment, that's not necessarily the one that gets it took down for, if you report it for, hang on, I'll have a look, um, it's another one it, you report it for, and it's it's like copyright or something, and they they don't bother checking. Um, I'll see if I can see where which. What was the name of that group again? I'm looking to where you sent yeah, me it, but yeah, that's because all your messages have disappeared from those uh from those. Yeah, that's Facebook because those ones got those ones got shut down by Facebook. Yeah, so it's not about but, making a one just under a different name, like a pseudonym or something. Yeah, I was actually thinking about doing mm -hmm. that, yeah. Like, you know how people, like, even if it was you, even if it was you, but under a different, like, even under, like, a brand name or something, and yeah. then you could get your work out without anybody knowing it's you. You know, like Banksy. We have Banksy in the UK. Oh, Nobody dude, knows I, who he I, is. Let's be honest, who has not heard? Of the whole thing between Robo and Banksy, that's literally yeah. one of the most notorious. <laughs> that's one of the most notorious art feuds in fucking history. <laughs> like, whether, whether you do street art or whether you do regular art, like you, you can't. 
have that conversation without bringing those two up in some way. Mm -hmm. like, it's inevitable. Like, <laughs> I've seen every single fucking documentary there is on that shit, so I'm very well versed in really? that shit. That's actually like really. I didn't realize like I didn't realize most people like. Oh wow, that's really like cool. I didn't realize. Yeah, that's, that. um, that's the group ones right there. I just sent you the Facebook uh, group one. Cool. I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it now. Um. Yeah. Uh, just a chat. I'm trying to do it on my phone. Where like. Oh, um, on you know. Right. Um, report. Had a reason. Yeah, it's um something, some some something else. Yeah, if you report as intellectual property or fraud or scam, they're more likely to take it down because they can't they can't prove that it's not a fraud or scam. So, uh, rather than where would I go to? So I'm on the thing right now. Where, which tab would it be under? It's um, it's under something else. So when if you click on the three buttons, click on report, and then it um, click on report, and then click on give a reason, and it's something uh, and it says something else. All right. So here's what I've got on mine. I've got. Nudity, violence, harassment, suicide or self-injury, false information, spam, unauthorized sales, hate speech, or terrorism. Yeah. Um, does it say, uh, yeah, so it would be fraud or scam. And then it's oh. more likely to... Alright, so that would be under... Wouldn't that be under false information? Yes, that's it. False information. Okay, yeah, right here. Something else. And then if everyone did that, then it's then it, they're more likely to take it down as long as it's a... This shit these people are doing is fucking disgusting. Like, it's fucking disgusting. Mhm. Mm it's a it's a lot. <laughs> like. Like I'm literally over here minding my own business, hanging out with my friends, doing my streams. Mhm. Mm but it's like it's like these people have this agenda that like oh. Like, like, they think that they're the internet police, essentially. <laughs> they think, like, oh, you, you you fell for this troll, you, you fell for this, so you're a pedophile. No, a real pedophile actually goes out and commits the acts. What mm -hmm. he did is false and is illegal entrapment. Yeah. Plus, she doesn't work with law enforcement at all. That's it. If you if you work along with law enforcement and do it properly, I mean there is there is people that have been caught that have been oh, yeah, caught absolutely. by ones that work with a cop. And you know, funny that looked into her shit, and she does not work with law enforcement. Matter of fact, that one dude that uh, used to help her, I don't know if he still does, but the guy that I used to be friends with, uh, Michael J. Hacking. He even openly admitted that she doesn't work with law enforcement. Mm -hmm. Not right there saying a lot. Like, hello, you basically just gave away the answer right there, dumbass. Yeah. 
Where'd he go, Michael, you fucking idiot? Right, so you've tried reporting, I've tried reporting of the intellectual property as well, because they have, um, because they have your, the, they have the kick on there, and your, yeah, we have, we have, and your kick like, on there, yeah. so it would be, so hopefully, what if one away gets a good result, then that way you can, then that way we can wheedle out which one works best for, works, yeah. for, works best for doing it. The thing is, the laws are so like random in America. The the oh I know, and that's and that's why I'm, um, tomorrow I'm going to talk to my mom about uh, seeing what we can do mm -hmm. to um, to get my um, to save up to get my passport, and then all I got to do is let my friend quit, and I'm like, yo, dude, I got my passport. Let's fucking do this shit. Like, let's get me the fuck out of here for a month or so. But literally, in that time span, before I found out what was going on, this is what I had been working on right here. I literally made it, and yes, I did, the, like, everything that you, that you, that you're going to hear in that, like, the thing I just sent you, I literally did all that from the ground up within, like, 15 minutes. Wow. Sorry, I'm getting random messages of someone called Crystal. Like, she's just, I was like, oh, it's okay, I found him. And then it was like, okay, cash off me. And it's like, no, <laughs> I'm not going to cash off you. I'm strange. <laughs> no, I get that shit. Oh, boy, I get that shit all the time. Do you? God, you get it when oh, you sell God. things I on Facebook people, as well. I get people freaking requesting me fucking two dollars, three dollars, a thousand dollars. Like literally, like just tonight, I got one for like a thousand, and I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> Even if I had it, no. <laughs> I am way better than my if anything, that money would be going to my fucking family. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that would literally yeah, be getting split up between my friends and my family. Sorry. No saying. <laughs> Y'all so still ain't getting a goddamn dime out of me. <laughs> so, um, so, I was, I tried to, did you get the, did you get the gist of my email that I copied it and sent it on you? On your face. Hey, I'm about to look right now. Because the email you sent me didn't work. It just said Messenger wasn't wasn't available. So I don't know whether that got reported and, and shut down. That is seriously weird. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't send. I was like, I tried to send it. And it just said, um, messenger not available. Oh, it's probably because of the fact that, um, that's actually probably because that Facebook I said that got shut down, so that's probably why. Mm. But like, just, this whole shit is, it's getting way way, way out of hand and it needs to stop before someone seriously gets fucking out. Because the way these guys are going, someone's going to get hurt, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, and I don't want that for anybody. Like, as much as I hate the trolls, I don't want that for them and I sure as hell don't want that for me. Like, I don't want that for anybody. Yeah. Oh. But it's like, if y'all are going to go down this road, like, what choice am I going to have? Mm -hmm. You know, like, if y'all step onto my property and have the intentions of doing harm to me and my family, don't think we're just going to sit there and take it. But, um... So, I was thinking about next steps. 
and I think basically we need to work from country to country. So we'll start off doing it from the UK and then from the success we have from this country work um because you know when you you know when you sometimes click on um say like Australia, Australia is particularly good for it. Um if you know when you, you click on a link and it takes you to an Australian address and it won't let it go and it won't let it go through because it's not allowed and you're not allowed to view it from outside of Australia. So yeah. I was thinking about from now from working towards doing the same for things um, that are classed as your intellectual property. So yeah, like, kind of like, 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 like figuring out and piecing together like how it would all come together in the long run, yeah. Mm -hmm. So working towards it, so then what would happen is as soon as someone went to go look up your look up like the 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 YouTube or something or or something like that, it wouldn't come up from this. It wouldn't come up in is it in a certain area. It's like a you, it's like a certain regional area. Yeah. So what? So then, what you could do is you could essentially start fresh. Yes, it would only be viewed from this country or that country. Yeah, but it would mean that you could tailor your views to to right. like, essentially start starting again with a new audience. Um, yeah. I think working on like, and then you could make a tick like make a TikTok channel. You could start yeah. showing your artwork, and it would be from it would be from abroad, but it would be popular here. And then exactly. as soon as someone so looked like, up your stuff, as soon as someone from yeah, this like, country looked up your stuff, it would just be yeah. Yeah. So. Well, so I think that like, because like another thing I've seen a lot too, which you're definitely on some of that. Like I said, I think a good idea, like I said, would be to somehow I don't know how I would do it, but to get an IP address that I pings to the UK. Yeah. So that, like, whatever I post up, like you said, would mm -hmm. go to there, it would be viewed over there, and yeah. it would be, you know, obviously do quite well, because, believe it or not, I actually have, um, my friend Ellie and her mom actually live in, um, uh, uh, fucking, um, uh, not, oh, they live in the UK, oh, they live over in Scotland. Oh, right, okay, yeah. I, 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 I can... My ass can I've been through so much shit today, my brain's like, hello, family, <laughs> <Sarah Marie>, wake <laughs> up. <laughs> but yeah, they actually live over in Scotland, so like, they know, like, like, they're, they're pretty familiar with it, so I know, like, they'd be definitely down for that shit. Mm -hmm. So yeah. at, least over, uh, at least over there, I would actually have, you know, a few people that, you know, would be able to promote my stuff, obviously, you know, mm -hmm. with them, with you. As a matter of fact, uh, one of my viewers on uh, Kit, who actually added me on Xbox recently, is from the UK. Yeah. And he listens to a lot of the same music that I do, so it's like, it's right up his alley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that would be really good. So essentially, someone for, so it would be like, Say we would make we would we would make your new we would make the new stuff from say uh, from say our our from from our place, and then it would mean that you and then it would mean that you could then it would mean that only people from here could do it. You can use a v like for future reference. You could use a VPN and set it to a and set it to the UK. Like my brother uses one from Germany for some reason. Yeah, I do want them to get a VPN, but the ones I've been looking at that are actually good are, they're expensive as shit. And I didn't realize how expensive they can be. I'm like, dude. Yeah, we've got, they're, they're pretty cheap over here, so, but things are very yeah. wildly different, like in prices. Oh, uh, I think like, dude, things are different all over the place. Like, especially yeah. with the, the world's in right now. And like travel's really cheap here, yeah, but it's really ex it's really cheap o um over where you are, but it's really expensive here. 
So running a car is more expensive here than it is over where you are. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not surprised how. <laughs> like, like, good God, like, uh, my friend Ellie and her mom wanted to send me some stuff uh, not too long ago, but, like, it's expensive to send packages from where they're at. Because they're literally, like, on the outskirts of Scotland. They're, like, up in the freaking out on the outside, out in the country, out in the backwoods, like, part of it. They're way out in the country, so for them, it's, like, it's expensive to really do anything. It's like, God, I feel bad for you guys. I really do. I told them straight up one day. I was like, y'all know if I had the money to come there. My ass would be over there to pick that shit up in a heartbeat. No fucking problem. <laughs> Zero issues. Say less. I'm there. <laughs> but yeah, because of it. And what's sad is one of my friends brought this up to me. Literally, I think it was like two or three days ago they brought it up. Because we were sitting down talking. And we're just, like, talking about, like, different, you know, people that we would want to visit, different places we would want to go. And I told them about how, you know, I would want to, you know, visit some of my friends from the UK, uh, visit my best friend Clint over in Australia, which obviously that's going to happen eventually anyway. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, like, he would say, he was like, you do realize right now if the trolls hadn't have fucked you over, you'd probably have money to be able to travel wherever you wanted. I was, I was like, you're not wrong. Like, I realistically, I would have. Because I've lost out on so much money since 2018. Like, you can literally pull my name up and just thousands of videos come up. And I'm just like, I'm in shock every time I see a new video. I'm just like, how? Like, how am I this big and I don't even fucking realize it? Like, what the, like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, it's honestly astonishing to me. Like, it really is. Like, today when I looked my name up, because, like, obviously there's been a lot of shit going on with my now former, you know, dad that disowned me, you know, dropping in and doing all this and that and the other. Like, there's been a lot of shit going around. There's been a lot of shit been going around. And, like, I look it up, and there's, like, at least, at least five to six, or maybe ten channels tops covering it. And that's just, like, the base, but that's not even counting all the channels that just cover me in general. Yeah. Like, you, like, like, just you. Yeah. Like, like it doesn't include playing. all the documentaries and stuff like that. Oh, God, I can't even tell you how many documentaries I've seen. <laughs> oh, my God. I have watched so many documentaries, and some of them got it. I will admit there are a few that got it right. I will admit some of them didn't actually make me look bad. But half of them, I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, this isn't even close to... What actually is going on? What the fuck? <laughs> like, they chunk, they it must, be, so, it it must be like, it, it, I don't know. I, I couldn't grasp it. I absolutely could not grasp I it. I still can't grasp it. Like, I'm, dude, I blew up, like, back in 2018. It's 2023, and I still can't wrap my head around it. Like, I'm still just like, what the fuck? Well, out of out out of the ashes, so to speak, everyone loves it. Everyone loves a good um, so redemption story. So oh, I know. using That's that so to your cool. advantage. I mean, we were about Logan like, Paul and 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 Jake Paul um the other the other day, and it's like they you know they turn, they are terrible. Like everyone hated them. He absolutely hated them. And then they've come around, they've turned their lives around, and they've gone, actually, you know, we're really good people, and now people love them. So everyone has a good I, I, redemption story. And honestly, that's what I've been trying to do, is I've been trying to turn my life around and get away from all this crazy shit. But it's almost like no matter where I turn, like, there's always something there, you know, to screw me over, and it's just like, why? Mm -hmm. Like, because I've noticed this. Every time I take, like, 
one massive step forward, it seems like something bad screws it up to draw me like four steps back. And I'm like, dude, like, I'm just trying to, like, dude, I'm just trying to do my job, make a living doing my streaming, working on my music, having fun, and hanging out, and showing people that I'm not this monster that the internet's essentially made me out to be. Like, there's been several people that have, you know, that have seen how I really am, and they're just like, dude, like, why are they doing this? Like, they're like, I get it, you know, you fucked up, you shouldn't have done what you did, you know, with that troll, or what it is what it is, but at the same time, it's like, they should just let you live your fucking life, dude, like, you're not bothering anybody, you're not out here, you know, going after anyone, you're out here freaking living your life, dude, that's mm -hmm. all you're doing. And they're definitely right, though. Like, they're definitely right about that. Like, I'm just out here trying to live my life and make an honest living. But it's yeah. like, everywhere yeah. I turn, these people want to make me out to be this god-awful monster. Like, like, I'm the worst person in the world. Like, I just fucking... They act like I don't fucking blew up a country or something. I swear to God. <laughs> and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like... Literally an asshole illegally in traffic because I did look it up and you are not allowed. A private citizen is not allowed to do what she did. Yeah. But yet they still say, but yeah, according to them, oh, she's a saint. All oh, because she has like, I don't even know how many subscribers, honestly. But it's like, just because she has that many don't mean she's a fucking saint or a fucking angel. That don't mean she's right. Mm hmm No. And it's like, I even told her the one day when I fucking confronted her, I was like, do you really think I give a fuck how many subscribers you've got or don't got? Just because you have so many subscribers don't mean you're right about everything. That don't mean you fucking know everything. Yeah. No, absolutely <laughs> not. Like, I've seen, like, and, like, I've actually seen major YouTubers like, uh, fucking, uh, Leafeon, who got busted for some majorly, just majorly screwed up stuff. And that dude had well over a million subscribers. But look at him, he turned out to be a total freaking piece of shit. Yeah. Well, look at I was I was watching some guy yesterday, and he's the one that tried a Ouija board. He's dead girlfriend or something, and then it turned out she wasn't dead. Like, um, like, I can't remember his name, but he's absolutely vile, and he's like well famous on YouTube, and he literally preys on that factor for popularity. Like he, like he, he literally preys on the whole. Like on the on like on shock value, and I mean he actually he went to the forest in Japan, did a whole did a whole lot. Oh yeah, suicide forest. I remember that one. Yeah. Yeah, and he um and he instead of he didn't see any dead bodies, but he like photoshopped one in just to make people think, just to get people watching the video, and it turned oh, out in the end that they had, that he hadn't even stuff. done it. Like he just lives off shock value, and I think that I think that does help sometimes. Is like leaning into it, leaning into the um, leaning into the shock, and leaning into the thing to right. you know. And so all, you're all like, attention is good attention, sort of thing. But you know, and in some ways, like that does work. Like in some ways, that is good, like you said. But especially in my case, especially mm. with the shit they've done, yeah, not the best idea. No, <laughs> not, that's it. <laughs> not the best idea at all. Like, so it, you know, for you, it and was starting have, fresh. Like, there's a, literally a video on YouTube. I don't remember who reposted it. But there's a, literally a video where I basically, you know... I basically was like, it was at the, a while ago when, you know, Marty was doing his thing, mm -hmm. and I was literally fucking begging this man, in tears, to just leave 
me the fuck alone. But that's how done with it I was. And the only thing he could do is just sit there and laugh. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah. Like, there's no way that you're this fucking sick and twisted and sadistic. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. how, like, it makes me wonder, like, how somebody can be that evil. Yeah. So, to get joy out of ruining someone's life, like, what Kate did, that affected me a lot more than what, you know, people seem to think because of that. Now I have to fucking, now I have to worry about every time I go outside and I have to worry about my neighbors fucking giving me weird ass looks Mm -hmm. every fucking time now and it fucking sucks. Yeah. Like. That's awful. Oh, it definitely is, like, like, it's, like, it's absolutely insane. Like, Mm -hmm. if you've ever seen any of my live streams where I'm just hanging out and gaming out, you would see that I'm just, I'm a normal fucking person that likes to have fun and make people smile and laugh and joke, like, like a regular person's supposed to do, like a regular cop. Like a, a real content creator is supposed to do, because I'm sorry, the stuff that Kate and them create, that's not real content. That's literally feeding off of somebody's misery. That's not content. That's just garbage. It's just people being mean. Oh, absolutely. And that's why I have always said, you know, that kind of content is not real content creating. That's just being a dick and screwing with people. That's all that really is. But yet, for some reason, people fucking gravitate towards it. And it's like, why? <laughs> but why I think why it's why just because they feel bad about themselves. That they, they like to make other people feel miserable so they're more on their level. So they don't feel as inadequate. Oh, absolutely. I fully believe that that's, that that's the issue right there. At least with some of them. Mm-hmm. Some of them, I actually wonder if they actually even had a decent childhood. Like, yeah. I don't think wonder, like, did they actually have a decent childhood? or oh, were probably they- not. <laughs> Because if you're going around doing that shit, you clearly got something wrong with you. Mm. Like, clearly, there's something wrong with your head. Like, I, I told people this, too. Like, it's one thing to, you know, run around. Like, you know, like, say that you're your friends. Like, say you're one. Yeah. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you, are you okay? Oh, I'm all right. It's part for the cause for me. I get, you know, just used to it. <laughs> How are no, you I'm anyway? That kind of trolling, that's fine. Yeah. That's okay. That that right there is real trolling. That right there is what trolling should be. You know, going <laughs> in, fucking with your friends, busting their balls a bit, having fun. You know, the normal shit that people do. But this shit is far from normal. Like, well, this shit is like, I'm, I'm sure a psychologist would have a field day with it. <laughs> oh, I can't. I, I can't. I, 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 would, I would put money on it, honestly. Like, I guarantee you, if they saw that shit, they would be like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Oh, they, I guarantee you, they're. There would be a lot of experimenting and a lot, a lot of questions going on. <laughs> I could say right now that there is definitely something wrong with all these people. Like if you can, if you like, if you're able to sit there and consciously, you know, make someone out to be a pedophile and not receive something in return, you clearly have something wrong with you. Mm-hmm. Like, clearly there's something wrong with your head. And it's not good. 
it's like, exhausting. Don't get me wrong. I've been told there's something wrong with my head all the time. But that's just because that's just because my friends know me and they, you know, we fuck around, we joke around like that. Because they know that, like, you know, just like any normal person, I will admit, I got a fucked up sense of humor just like any other person. <laughs> but at least I'm not out here fucking doing random screwed up shit. It's just like. <laughs> I'm like, I'm speechless all the time. It's hard to wrap your head around what I've gone through, I know. It's like, it's, I mean, I think in the past two days, I think, like, my head has literally exploded. Like, I mean, that's how I was at first, honestly. I was that same way when I was just like, who are these people, where do they come from, and what the hell do they want from me? Like, what the... Mm-hmm. Like... Yeah. Honestly, the thing that made my head explode was literally seeing my dad do what he's done over the last couple of days. It's like, like it literally, I'm still, even now, yeah. just like really just trying to wrap my head around the whole fact that like, how can you literally turn on your own fucking kid and side with a bunch of internet bullies that are just that. They're internet bullies looking for entertainment and you're being stupid enough to let it happen like an idiot. Mm -hmm. Like, what the fuck? Like, and I hated making that video that I made earlier, but it's like, when you sit there and say you're going to come at me, it's like, what do you expect to happen? What do you expect me to say or do? Like, if you're over here putting my family in danger, or yeah, you're anybody gonna... in danger, like, something needs to be said. Because that kind of behavior is not normal behavior. I'm sorry. That's not okay. Like, for you to sit there and say that you and your little freaking group of whatever is coming after me, like, that's not okay. None of it's okay. None of it's okay. Like, and I, like I said, I hate, it made me sick making that video. It's like, you know, like, he didn't consider me family, so it's like, okay, you don't consider me family, fine, cool, whatever. It is what it is. But for you to sit there and make threats towards me, on your own profile as well as in a fucking group. I'm sorry. That's not okay. Mm-hmm. Like, that is beyond... That's beyond fucked up. Like, I wouldn't do that to you. And like I told him in that live stream, like... I used to have respect for him. I did. I told him, like, the only reason when me and him got into that fight back in 2014... And he threw me out because of that fight. I straight out told him the only reason I did not lay a single hand on him was because of the fact that I actually had respect for him. Yeah. And I wasn't going to do that to him. That's not me. But when <laughs> you go about things the way that he went about it, it's like, what do you really freaking expect to happen? Yeah. Like, and it's sad to see this man that freaking raised me half my life now turn into somebody that I can't even stand. Like, it's sad. Yeah. It's like, I mean, I mean, I know what exes are like. I, I know what men are like. So, I mean, that's why there's a whole hashtag men ain't shit sort of thing. So, I can do, I can totally, like, I can... Right. Oh, and you know what's sad? I'm a guy myself, and I'm just like, I agree with that thing. Like, it's sad that a dude agrees with that. That's actually saying a lot. Fucking perfect design that I knew would actually do well, and that they would actually enjoy just as much as I do. Well, <laughs> the minute that I freaking posted the link to the shop, all of a sudden, it gets shut down. 
And now, because of that, I have to go in and restart on everything. Like, yeah. I have to make a whole new shop and everything. And it's like, and it sucks because there was a lot of people that were like, dude, like, when's the new merch dropping? Like, like, do you have any new merch, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, I do, actually. And at the time, I actually forgotten that I had brand new merch. I, I, I genuinely forgot. <laughs> And like, I had forgotten that I had had that shop, so I was like, yo, like, let me throw in some new merch. And at the time, and I wish I had been filming this a few years prior, but back in 2018, I had actually done my first uh, DJ show out here. Like, I had done my first uh, show down at, um, I forget what the place was called, but I had still had the flyer like the digital copy of the flyer that the owner of the club had made uh, for not only myself, but it was also for other artists that were lined up to perform that night. Cool. Yeah. I ended up doing that and whatnot. Well, I still had the flyer from it, and I was like, yo, for all the original old school fans that, you know, remember me from this, you know, from this time period and from this name, I got something special for you guys. What I did was I took that flyer and I put it on shirts and stuff for them, and they were loving it. They were like, dude, like, this is super cool. Like, I didn't know you still had this. I'm like, dude, I never got rid of it. <laughs> it's been sitting in my Google Drive this whole freaking time, and I just didn't know what to really do with this until, like, later today, I was like, yo, like, let me... Let me throw something together for these guys that have been around, you know, for a long time, you know? Like, let me throw something out there for them. Oh, well, that would be good because then you could sell things to, like, you could sell things to, like, a UK audience. And, yes, like, packages. Exactly. My, my question them. is, um, uh, what shop, like, as far as, like, online shops go, what shops are there that I can run through that would be hard to get shut down? Mm. Because... The shop that I went through was, uh, fucking, uh, I forget what the name was, it was Bonfire, bonfire.com, that's nice. the site that I went through to create the merch, and as soon as, uh, CBG and all his little, you know, a-hole friends seen it, they ended up reporting it, and it got shut down, like, almost within, within mere minutes of it being up, like, in the chat, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, it's so screwed up, like, that they could sit there that quickly and, like, do that. It's like, what the actual hell, like, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I've always said, like, when they take, you know, from me, they're not just, you know, taking away from me. Yeah. They are literally, you know, stealing from, you know, my fan base. And that's, that's not cool. Matter of fact, here's the main merch design that I came out with. Yeah. Hang on, it's Senator. All right, it just sent. Oh, that's cool, that. That's really cool. I, I literally oh. sat down for, like, six months, like, trying to come up with, like, a design that I knew people would like, because, like, when I, like, especially in my high school years, like, I was always that kid that would shop at, like, you know, Hot Topic, Spencer's, like, I was that kid. So I was like, yo, like, let me create a merchandise design that, you know, you could go, like, if, say, like, you're a fan of Hot Topic or Spencer's, like a lot of people are, you know, like I am, you know, they would, you know, definitely buy it, you know, because, like, that's something that I would, who you knows something's up. Yeah. Because no, there's not many good. guys out there that can actually, you know, really relate to that whole thing. But yeah, here I am. 
I'm the odd one out. <laughs> Hi. I'm the odd ball of bunch. Leave a message. I might leave a sarcastic response. You never know. <laughs> but it's like, like, I, like you said, I just really think that, you know, trying to get a VPN, starting over fresh with that, like, I think that that right there is definitely, like you said, that's mm -hmm. definitely the next step for sure is to get a VPN and try to hide myself as much as I can. Yeah. Well, I think the, the best thing at the minute would be to just continue what you're doing, just keep calm, carry on as they say. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send over the um, permission forms. You just like give it like give it a flick through. Just say that like everything's above board. Say yes to you like willing to get help. Um, I do need because the thing is I do the the problem is is that your parents are involved in this. So I need so it would literally be a full-on ban, like, never mentioning you, never mentioning Sally, never mentioning Ed, the whole lot, um, I just need, yeah. like, a, I just need, like, a five-minute conversation just to say, like, look, I'm going to involve, I'm just going to include you in this, so then it covers all three of you, it basically covers everyone, like, at your residence, um, and then it'll just, and then we'll, um, you know, it'll have written down, like, what we're going to do, what the plan is, blah blah blah, and then from yeah. and then from then I'll speak to you later on today, and um see what you say, see what you think, and then we'll talk, yeah. and then we'll go on prop, and then we'll go on prop me. Does that sound good? That sounds good to me. Like I said, if we can get, like I said, if there, like you said, there's a way that we could somehow, you know, get like you know a no contact order or something like that and let people know it. Just for this country, it would mean that you could, like, post stuff to... Right, exactly. Could, yeah. Right, like, I could actually go under that VPN, mm -hmm. which, uh, if you could, like, if there's a way that you can send me, like, a VPN that I could mm -hmm. use that actually links to there, that would be, that'd be a huge help because a lot of people don't realize this, but when we paid for my lawyer, like, I'm pretty, you know about the whole thing with me going to jail, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, once we paid for that lawyer, we have no money left at all. Like, we have nothing left. Like, we're still no, trying to no, pay no. him off. Like, we're still, right now, we're still in the middle of trying to pay him off little by little. And it sucks so bad, but it's like, we're doing what we can to pay him off. Yeah. And that's why I think, like, you know, having somebody like you, you know, helping us out with, you know, getting a reliable VPN <laughs> would, would definitely be a huge help. Because, like you said, with the proper VPN linking me over into the UK, I can start posting stuff mm -hmm. and, you know, doing what I need to do, you know? Yeah, and I know it's Just a smaller, I know it's a smaller audience and everything, but at least it's a audience. An audience. Mm -hmm. And it's working you know, towards something like else. Yeah. And I have always, and I have always stood by this. So like, there was a time where actually it wasn't even that long ago. I think it was like three, four days ago, where I had uh, told. Uh, William Gordon, like, in my live stream, because I noticed that he was, like, restraining it and watching it or whatever. And I kind of figured he was. So I straight out told him, like, dude, when you take away from me, you're not just taking away from me. Like, when you steal my music and you do this and that, you're not just taking my music. You're taking away from my fan base and what they want. Like, today, I, I tried to promote my fans of Hot Topic, obviously they'd buy it straight up. Like, obviously they would buy it. And that's like what I was going off of. But because of the fucking trolls, that whole shop got shut down in literally a matter of minutes. 
And everybody's been asking, well, like, what are you going to do for merch? It's like, I don't, I, I don't know how to answer that at this point. It's like, I genuinely don't know. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do about merch at this point. Just because of the simple fact that, you know, like, they're so quick to get it shut down that it's like, I need to find a site where it won't get shut down that easy. Because what they're doing is they're basically doing to me like we just did to them with that group. They're basically saying, oh, we we own this and this is that and like this is infringing this and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you guys are literally just doing this to screw with me. Yeah. Because uh, there was a guy in chat the other night that openly said, um, this is your daily reminder to not donate to him because he's a pedophile and pedophiles aren't allowed to make money. I'm like, who the... F I'm sitting there reminded, like, I didn't say this to him because the guy ended up getting banned. But I'm sitting there thinking in my head, who the hell died and made you the police? <laughs> like, who's... Like, who, who the hell are you? Like, what? Like, you're not my boss. You're not my mom or dad. You can't tell me what I am and am not allowed to do. Like, I'm allowed to make money. Just y'all don't want to do it because y'all know if I do make money, you guys know that I would be able to fight back. And you don't want me to fight back. And that's all it is. They just don't want me to fight back. Because they know if I do fight back with me and I have money, I can legally go after them and they don't want that. They don't want me to be able to fight back. Their whole plan basically is to either have me killed, thrown in jail, or put in a, um, uh, what do you call it, into a group home. Wow. Like that, is, that is literally their ultimate goal and it's just like, you guys don't realize that none of that is going to happen. Like, you guys tried to have me thrown in jail. You failed at that. You guys literally tried to, well, you tried to have me killed twice, technically. Because one, you tried to have that dude shoot at me through the window. That failed. And then you guys tried to have me arrested and then we're planning on having that, have, you guys were basically planning on calling an inmate in there to have me killed the other way. You failed at that. So, you're still doing this. Why? It makes no sense to me. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, it's honestly just like, it's almost like, like you said the other night, it's almost unbelievable at what I've been through. Mm -hmm. Like, it is so just like, bizarre and out there they just like how like how is this even a thing I honestly have no clue like I don't even I just I don't even know that, see that right there is my problem like I don't even know how to like I don't even know how to explain all this anymore honestly because it's just so much has happened in such a small time frame of a few years. It's like, how do you can pack that into one little tiny fucking box? Mm -hmm. Like, so much has happened in the course from, let's see, let's see, 17, 18, that's two years, 19, 3, 24, 21, 5, Two, six, so in the, in the span of about seven years. Like, granted to a lot of people, that's a long time. But if you look at the, the, the bigger picture, that's not really that long. If you really think about it. Yeah. Like, on that scale, like, that's not really a long time. And that's the scary part about it, is that, like, that's such a small time frame. 
It's like, well, most people wouldn't achieve all that in their lifetime. Well, right, and these guys <laughs> damn near, near fucked up my whole life, but literally in a mere matter of just a few years, it's like, I'm even like, like, I'm even just dumbfounded by it. It's like, how do you guys work that quickly? Mm -hmm. but it's like, I don't necessarily want to give them credit for what they've done, but at the same time, it's almost like, there's got to be a record for that. Like, that, that has to be a world record of some kind. <laughs> like, that, that has to be, because, like, I have never seen anybody's life get fucked up that fast in that short amount of time. Yeah. Like, it's honestly insane. Like, like, I can't even, like, even to this day, I cannot wrap my head around any of it. Like, to this day, I still have trouble wrapping my head around it. It's like, like, how, like, I often ask myself, like, how am I in this? Like, how do I get out of this? What are, like, like, what's the deal? Like, 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 there's just so many questions. Like, the main one definitely thing, though, is how the hell is social media allowing this kind of garbage behavior to go on? Yeah. Like, that's really the biggest question. Like, you would think that with, you know, YouTube stating, like, oh, we cracked down on this kind of stuff. Uh, obviously, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't be allowing this to go on. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that if, and I know them well if that were my platform, and I saw something like that going on. Oh, there'd be a lot of legal action being taken against the people that did that shit. <laughs> oh, there would be legal action. And that's the way that it should be. Yeah. Like, that's the way that it needs to be. But it's like, you know, I, I get it. You know, Facebook's a massive platform. They don't really have, you know, the necessary, you know, they people are here. They do, they do over here. They're um, they're really good over here. For taking, I think that's where the difference between America and the UK is. Like we have um, we like we have hate speech laws and things like that. So you can't like go online and threaten people. Oh, absolutely. Like, and, you know, and I get you know like where the hate speech would come in. Mm. And what's funny to me is people always talk about how like. Oh, you're doing hate speech. You're doing hate speech. Uh, how am I doing hate speech when I'm the one being threatened? Mm -hmm. Like, if someone said, like, I have, like, I'm old school. I have always believed that if someone's threatening your life or making threats towards you, you should have that exact same right to do the exact same thing right back at them. Because at the end of the day, fair is fair. Yeah. Like, you say, like, you should be able to take what you dish out. Yeah. <laughs> like, Don't if you take you know, that you can't dish out. you dish out, then why run your mouth? That's ridiculous. Right, I have an appointment to run to because it's 10 and 9 and I still need to get ready. But I will send you over the forms and like I say, um, can we agree to a time later this week? And I'll, I'll have longer and you can... Um, yeah, that's what, you um, what, what day were you thinking? Um, what, what time are you going to bed? Um, I, I'm usually up all night. Have time. Well, I'm always I'm, I'm a night owl and the reason for that is because my mom used to be a waitress like she was a waitress like half my life and oh. she did she did graveyard shifts so for me like I'm up like all the time like there's never like a time where like I'm just like oh I'm going to bed at this time like I'm up all the fucking time like my sleep schedule is so fucking weird that it's like 
It's a wonder that it, like I'm not dead from a lack of sleep. It's honestly a wonder. Cause like I'm one of those people that like I can I can literally run on like an hour of sleep and I'll I'll feel like I've slept for like a day. <laughs> oh God, that's like that, that's a really that's a really good thing to have. I don't have that. <laughs> oh, well, sometimes I wish I didn't, because it sucks. Like when I'm trying to sleep, and my mind's just sitting there going and going and going and going. It's just like, oh, shut up! Don't let me sleep already. Like, <laughs> like shut your mouth till morning, please. Thank you. That would be very helpful. <laughs> like, that would seriously be helpful right now, but you want to sit here and do this, and I'm over here trying to do that. Like, not good. Not okay. Not a good thing. I do not need to be up all day, up all night, sleep all day, sleep all night, sleep this day, don't sleep that day. Not good. Been there, done that, don't like it. Because there was a time when I first started doing music that. I literally was not sleeping at all, like, whatsoever. I'd be up a week straight on, like, a cup of coffee, just a week straight, just not sleeping, not doing anything, just straight working a whole week, not sleeping at all. Like, I would, the most I would sleep when I first started doing music, I shit you not, and I'm not even joking, when I say this by any means, I was literally sleeping about an hour a week. The rest of the time I was spending just grinding my ass off, working my ass off. Like, that was my sleep schedule. And then I later on found out that that was not a good idea because I found out that that was essentially causing my body to have issues, which could have actually killed me. My doctor flat out said, he was like, if you don't get your sleep schedule together, like, this could actually kill you. Like, it's not sleeping. It could kill you. Like, it can mess your body up. And if you went to sleep after, like, if you didn't sleep for a whole year and you decided to go to sleep, that could shut your body down. And, like, when he told me that, I was like, yo, like, I need to get my sleep schedule right. And that took, like, seven fucking months to do. Like, it was a pain in the ass. Like, I hate doing it, but it's like, at the same time, I knew if I didn't, I would be risking a lot, actually. Like, I would genuinely be risking my life, essentially, and that's not something I was willing to risk. So, I literally had to be like, yo, like, I'm not putting my life at risk. This is not going to happen. Like, no, like, I need my fucking sleep. And thankfully, I got my body to where I was actually able to sleep, which is where I'm at now. Like, I'm, like, I'm up and down with sleep. Like, there will be times where, you know, I'll sleep all day or I'll sleep all night and I'll be up, like, next day and or night. So, like, I'm, at least I'm sleeping somewhat normal now. Like, I'm actually a normal person at this point, I've got a normal fucking sleep schedule, which is why it irritates me whenever the trolls fucking blow my phone up, it's like, dude, no, like, like, thankfully they don't do it anymore because I have a different, well, I don't have a different phone yet, but they aren't able to get a hold of me. It's hard, getting, it's hard getting hold of you sometimes, like, because everything keeps disappearing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I get it. I definitely get it. You know. At least you got this uh, Facebook back, though. Yeah. Because what, well, what happened was uh, one of the trolls reported me for some stupid shit, and I ended up getting uh, shut down from being able to talk to my friends for, like, three days, and I was just like, dude, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Like, it made no sense to me. I was just like, why? Like, why would you do that to somebody? Like, making it to where they can't talk to somebody for three days, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. But I, 
and that's why I had made those spare Facebooks. I was like, no, like, I need to make another Facebook. Like, I, I was like, no, like, I need to switch up, make a new Facebook, you know, do this, do that, and yeah. And that's when I made the new one, ended up reaching out to you, and then, for some odd reason, by the trolls doing, that one ended up getting banned because, oh no, you're, you're doing this, we can't allow that. It's like, dude, you're not my dad, fuck off, you're not my mom, kiss my ass. Like, go the fuck over there and screw off. Like, go, go, go play with your little non-existent dick and fuck off, please and thank you. Go the fuck somewhere else and leave me alone, dude. Like, but that's why, but that's why I wasn't able to reach out those times was mm -hmm. as a result of that because they were all like, "Oh, well, we're 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 not going to allow this. We're 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 going to get your accounts banned, and we're going to do this." It's like, and it, it makes me wonder, like, do you guys even have a life? Yeah. Like, do you guys do anything other than sit on the internet? And screw with people? Like, how do you, like, like you said, a psychologist would have a fucking field day with these people. <laughs> I guarantee you they would have a field day, which honestly, I guarantee you, honestly, I feel like one thing that should happen, which probably won't happen, sadly, is the FBI and an actual high-end psychologist needs to look into all of these people and see what's really going on. Mm -hmm. Because this shit, that, that fucks with people. And it's like I said the other day, how many people have taken their own lives because of this whole group of people and we don't know that. Yeah. Like, there, there's um, this one dude, which Brandon and I know that he deserves to be gone after, but there's this one kid named White Bowser who has been who's been labeled as a pedophile because he actually I will mean he actually has done some shit. Yeah. But he actually has been caught talking to underage kids. Come but on. <laughs> yeah, but but because of the trolls, he got bullied so bad that he actually did attempt to take his own life. And he had actually he had actually made a post about it on his community tab on YouTube. And as soon as I saw that, like it was like it made me kind of it kind of made me realize like how many people have these people caused to take their own lives that no one knows about? Like how many people have actually ended their own life because of these people? Like that's that's sad, like, no one deserves that, like, I don't care, like, you could have fucking, like, been granted, God forbid this ever happens to anyone, but, like, you could have fucking murdered someone, whether they deserve to be killed or not, that's up for debate, but regardless <laughs> of that, like, no one deserves to be bullied to the point of fucking suicide. Like, no one deserves that shit. Because, no. you know, it's like I told... Uh, it's like I told everybody on my stream, like, earlier today that I did. I basically told them, like, this is what I've been through. Like, I told them straight up, like, I was open and honest about what had gone down. I was like, look, these guys have pushed me to this point. I have gone through this. And no one deserves this shit. Like, mm -hmm. at all. Like, this is not cool. This is not okay. And one of the people that are like, you know, that were genuinely wondering, like, hey, how did you make it through? I was like, I told them, like, I got very lucky and fortunate. I had my friends and family there to support me. Like, yeah. I got lucky in that aspect. But sadly, there's a lot of people that don't have that. There's a lot of people that don't have that support system that need it. Well, hopefully you can be that support system for people going forward. 
Exactly, and that's, you know, and that's why I said, you know, ever since I started going through all this stuff, I've always been like, yo, like, because I noticed that nobody else is doing it, what I would like to do, like, once I'm able to get, like, once we get all this going, and I'm able to, you know, get the funds together, what I'd like to do is actually go in and get, you know, an organization started that would give people the resources that I've never had to be able to reach out for help and, you know, have those resources and be like, you know, like, hey, I'm going through this or, you know, I'm doing with, you know, cyberbullying on this level or I'm going through this and they'll be able to reach out and be like, I can, you know, you know, I can give them those resources that they would need to be like, okay, this is what you need to do. These are the steps that I follow. This is what you need to do because this is how you're going to win this. Because I'm not going to lie, going through this, it's not easy by any stretch yeah. at all. It's really one of the hardest things that anyone in the world could deal with. Like, it's a literally the worst thing that you can deal with. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, if, you know, these people out there that don't have that, you know, if they finally see, like, oh, there's somebody actually out here, you know, actually trying to do something, who knows, maybe even YouTube will start fucking doing something about it because they're clearly not doing anything about it. So it's like, you know, like social media isn't, it's all, and I hate to say it, but it's almost like social media almost, almost encourages that kind of behavior. And it's like, dude, that's not okay. No. Like, that's fucked. Because I've seen so many people on the news and on other sites, you know, dealing with this shit. And it's like, it's so just, it's fucked, and it's like, it makes me wonder how people can live with themselves, knowing that they're, you know, basically ruining someone's life. Like, how do you, like, how do you live? How do you sleep? Knowing that you're doing that to someone, and yet you get paid. Like, the people that do that, they don't deserve to get paid. No, it's a, it's a very messed up world. Very oh, messed up world. Oh, it definitely is, and that's why I honestly feel like, you know, once we get shit off the ground, I'm actually able to start getting that traction that, obviously, I definitely need. Like, I feel like once that happens, I can start, you know doing some research and actually start putting some stuff together because somebody needs to do something, you know? Like, it's clearly nobody else is doing anything. And that's why I asked that one dude in the chat the other day. He was like, oh, just ignore him, just ignore him. Uh, they, 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 they won't go away if you don't ignore them. It's like, yeah, I get that, but what about all the people that are taking their lives together, these people? I've noticed that no one is speaking up about it. And I asked all like, who's going to speak up for those people? Are you going to do it? Because I do not see anybody else speaking up for these people that have gone through this. I'm literally the only one out here saying, like, hey, something serious is going on. This needs to be stopped. This is a very serious situation that can have, unfortunately, dire consequences for a lot of people if this group of essentially internet terrorists is basically what they are. Mm -hmm. Like, if these internet terrorists are not stopped, how long is it going to be before they are stopped? How many people have to take their lives? How many people have to get hurt before something is actually done? And that's why I have always like, ever since I found out about this group through me being, you know, going through this shit, I've always been that person that has been, that's been like, yo, like, 
if you're in that position, like, and you feel like you're at that point, don't hesitate to reach out to myself, someone in the chat, like, our doors are always open 24-7, like, you can message any of them, you can message me, y'all got my email, clearly y'all got my Facebook, my Facebook and my email have been out there for, God, for fucking ever now, I swear to God. <laughs> like, the funniest thing that I have ever heard anyone say is that, like, oh, I doxed your email, I doxed your phone number, I doxed your Facebook, oh, it's like, okay, and that shit's been out there for years, you fucking idiot. Well, the public like, information. <laughs> like, you're not doing anything special, like, Good for you, you found my Facebook. Good for you, yeah, you, 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 want, you want a cookie for finding my phone number and my email? Here you go. <laughs> Are you getting like, a new phone number anytime soon? Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be getting a, I'm actually supposed to be getting a new phone with a number here within like, I think like the next few weeks, the next like month or so. Mm-hmm. Uh, that would so, be good. Yeah. So, like, I definitely will be, you know, doing that for sure. Because, like, my phone number, the only good thing about my mailbox being full on my phone is that the trolls can't leave any more messages because they've done left so many already that they literally cannot leave anymore, which I find funny, honestly. Well, I tried ringing you first, and, um, and it went to... And your voice box was always, your voicemail was always full. And then your yeah, phone was with, like, nobody would answer it. So I was like... Yeah, that's, that's because the trolls are always uh, blowing it up. And they blow it up so much that my mail, that my inbox is actually full. Wow. And like I said, my mom's working on helping me get a new phone with a brand new number so that, um, you know, whenever... Um, you know, whenever that happens, whenever I'm able to get a new number, they are, like, I'm able to be like, hey, here's my new number to, you know, to certain people, like, with you, and, you know, really just those that I'm super close to. Yeah. Like, yeah. those that I'm super close to, those are the ones that I'm going to be giving it out to. Like, obviously, you know, with you, my other close friends. Obviously, my family, clearly, like, that's a, that's a no-brainer <laughs> right there. That's a given. But it's like, you know, those, like, you guys are, like, literally, like, the only ones that are gonna, that are gonna have it that way. If it does get leaked out, I know damn well it wasn't any of you guys. It's the trolls doing their little hunting party thingy, whatever. And it's like, it's like, get a fucking grip, dude. <laughs> like just get a fucking grip and it's okay. what's funny what's funny about my situation well not my situation but how I am a lot of people have actually compared me um, to um, you know that dude that I have on my, uh, pro has my profile picture Darby Allen from AEW a lot of people have actually compared to me to him in a lot of ways and this video right here is why which I will send it to you and if you like when you listen to it I think you'll get where they're coming from to how quick life can just uh, there we are come on it's just that feeling it's that feeling of how quick life can just change it's that feeling of how everything can get turned upside down I was five years old my uncle came to pick me up. Little did I know, he was drinking. A few hours from this road trip, he lost control of the world. He got out. I'm still here. I pay my face because 50% of me is dead inside. The trust for humans, the respect for humans.
it's dead. That's why I paint my face like I do. It's not a gimmick. It's not for ha ha. Look at me, I'm a bad mother. It's how I feel. See, I got the relentless tattoo on the back of my neck last week. It means never stop. Keep moving forward. You know, I get severe, I get severely depressed if I'm not doing something, if I'm not moving. And it just, it's a drive, it's a hunger, it's a want. I want to be better than you were yesterday. Be all that you can be. Don't settle for others' expectations of you, others' labels of you. Be what you, you, you could be. I would do these crazy stunts. I'm talking about myself. I would set up a tripod and I'd jump off a huge sculpture. No one's around and I'd break my foot and have to sit on my skateboard and push my way home for five miles. And that's just, I felt I wanted an audience to experience my pain. I wanted an audience to see what I would go through and what I'm willing to put myself through. In skating, I couldn't tell my story in the way I wanted to tell it. The wrestling gave me that outlet, and I never looked back. Ever since that class, and I just whether I what I filmed for MTV or what I filmed for Tony Hawk, it just it's that reckless. Like I just didn't care. But the moment you get a taste of people accepting your craziness. Now I can find a place to fit in. People come up to me and they say, you should really tone it down, brother. Be safe. Unfortunately, I don't know if I have that switch. It does not scare me, yes. But it's all I've ever known. I've always this relentless hunger to just get the most out of life. Because you never know what's going to happen. The ultimate goal at AEW is to be accepted for me. And that's all I've ever wanted my whole life, is just to be accepted for me. Doesn't freaking hit home. Yeah, that is really something. And what's crazy is that whole thing about the car accident with his uncle, that actually did happen. Like, what he did is so unique. He basically mm-hmm. took part of his real life and incorporated it in with his wrestling, which I think is like, that's, you don't see that hardly ever. Well, that's what you aim at. That, like, I think that's what you should aim for is use your, use your struggles to to. Oh, absolutely, and that's and it's funny that you say that because that's what I've always done. Like, I mm-hmm. like every song that I have put out has always been about my life in some way, shape, or form. Like, I have always, you know, spoken on, you know, the stuff that nobody else does and the stuff that everybody's just for some reason just so afraid to speak about just for for some reason it's just like why is nobody else speaking up about this shit like am I the only one that sees what's actually going on here like am I the only one that's actually got the balls to actually you know speak on this shit and actually you know put this stuff in the light and be like yo this needs to be talked about. Like, yeah, there's people out there that are, you know, that are talking about, you know, mental health and this and that and the other, which don't get me wrong. That is good. Like, that's definitely a good thing. I'm not saying it's not because that is definitely, honestly, very good. But you yeah. just don't, you just don't hear it throughout the songs the way that you should. Like, there was, like, um, the other day, there was one dude that asked me, like, because he had heard, like, a lot of my rap music and heard some of the stuff I had put out. 
and he was like, and he noticed that I don't really rhyme a lot. I'm like one of those ones where like I don't like to rhyme that much. I'm that weird one that doesn't do that. Because <laughs> to me, that's just like, okay, not every other word has to rhyme. Like, come on. Like, do something different. And, and that's all I was like, because when I write my music, when I write the songs that I write, I don't write them to, you know, be cool or be edgy and be like, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm rhyming every other word with this one thing. Like, I'm actually out here telling a real fucking story, and I'm actually speaking on real stuff that actually does go on, not just in my life, but stuff that I notice in general that everybody is so afraid to speak on. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm that dude that speaks on that, and that's why I do what I do. Like, you know, and... like. You should be so proud of that. Oh, I definitely am. It just, it just sucks because so many people want to be able to, like, they want to be able, like, they, what they want is, like, they want to be able to, you know, get their hands on my music, but like I said, with all these people doing what they're doing, it's hard to be able to do that, because like I said, when these people run around and take my music and get the copyrights to it and resell it and this and that, they're not just stealing from me. They're literally stealing from the people that need that music, that need, you know, that one thing and that one thing to let them know, like, hey, you're not alone in this shit. There are people out there that actually give a shit. Mm -hmm. Like, there are people that actually do care. Yeah. And that's why I've always told these assholes, like, when you take away from me, like, when you steal my music away from me, you're not stealing from me. You're stealing away from my fans as well. You're stealing something that they have worked their ass off to not only buy, but the music that they fucking need that helps them get through whatever it is they're going through. And for y'all to sit there and do that, that's not cool. That's bullshit. <laughs> it's just not. Yeah. But hopefully, hopefully we're on the rock. We're trying to think positive. Oh, hopefully. From now on. Oh, hopefully. Like, I honestly feel like we definitely are. A matter of fact, what I'll do tonight is yeah. once we get off, what I'll do is I'll sit down and I'll start writing and recording some stuff. And then what I'll do is, like, I'll obviously, like, have the uh all the screenshot of like the stuff being basically you know put together and whatnot and then what I'll do is, and then what I'll do is like once it's recorded and stuff I'll send it your way that way we can start you know trying to you know trying to build up you know that over there and stuff that way yeah. if there's anybody out there like over there that you know that is in the like hip hop music or like a darker side of that kind of stuff, or want something that they can relate to, you can just be like, hey, here's this, check this out. That would be great, that would be great, and then we could build, like, a portfolio to... Um... Yeah, definitely, because, like, obviously I'm very versatile with the different styles that I'm able to do, but, like, I definitely, you know, have, I definitely, I'd say in a very odd way, randomly somehow they're built like just a unique style of doing hip hop like when I'm in that mode like I can go like I can flip styles up just at the drop of a dime like I can go from just you know your regular hip hop style to doing stuff like um, that one dude that uh, what's his name fucking Scar Lord I can do stuff like that but yeah. there's one dude there was one dude that, and I, he's definitely right about this. He was like, dude, you're on to something. Because I had did, I had done one of my uh, metal hip-hop songs that I have not, and I have not done this ever on any streams at all whatsoever. But he heard what I did, and he was like, dude, you literally took what Star Lord did, and you literally, you basically perfected that shit. Like, you literally perfected that style because, 
what I do is I basically take like you know your like your general like metalcore screams from like um, like falling in reverse, suicide silence, uh, slaughter to prevail, and all these different bands that do that kind of stuff. And I just basically applied it to doing hip hop, and he's just like, "How do you do that and not get worn out?" That's all. I was like, "Dude, That's lots so cool. and lots and lots of practice." <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I didn't just get this overnight. I I I practiced for fucking months before I was even halfway decent. I'm not gonna lie, that shit took me almost a year to fucking perfect. Yeah, it was it's not easy, Thanks and it's funny. Time. Oh, absolutely. Like it, it like it was not easy for me to perfect at all. But it's like once I found that style, it's like I'm able to flip it on and off just at will now. Like it's insane. Like I could throw on a random metal beat right now and just go just go off. And people are just like, How do you do that? I don't know. Like it's just like it's almost like when I'm in it, it's almost like I'm there, but I'm not there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like physically I'm there, but my mind is just, and why my mind and my soul are just off somewhere else. Like, I can't even explain it. It's like when I'm in that mode, it's like everything else just shuts off. It's just like everything else just shuts off, and I'm just in that mode of, you know, just going for it like I like I can't I can't even explain it really like it's it's easy it's easier to show it than it is to explain it like if you've ever seen any of my streams where I do that style you can kind of tell that like physically I'm there but mentally I'm just I'm off somewhere else it's like I'm just zoned out and I'm just like zeroed in on this one Thing. Like, it's insane. <laughs> and, like, people have wondered, like, how I do that. It's just like I told you. I can't explain how I do it. Like, I'm to the point now to where I can listen to a beat just by the beginning few notes and the first few uh, drum patterns. Like, all I have to do is just listen to that one little part and then just play it back, and I'm just able to just go off of that, no problem. Like, it's insane. And people have often asked me, like, why don't you get signed to a label? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? So I do it. I've been signed to labels. I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm not. But they're just not for me, because I don't want to have, you know, 50 million people, you know, writing my songs and telling me to do this oh you need to wear that oh you need to you need to look like this like why do that when I can just be myself and write what I've always wrote about and let people find it mm -hmm. like, why, would I, why would I want to change that yeah no of course you wouldn't like and like I said like for me like labels just aren't for me, like I said, I've been on several labels. I've helped friends run labels, and for a short time, I even ran my own label to release my own stuff through for a good while. But in the long run, I kind of found like, you know, that doing that was just like, you know, going for the whole, you know, record label thing because, like, you know, obviously when you sign to a label, you get all this money and you're able to do this and that, it's like, yeah, you're able to buy this and that, but at the same time, you have to re, like, you have to recoup that money over time. Like, yeah. you know, with the label. And that's not easy to do. Like, there are artists out there that are still stuck after 30 years and they're still trying to recoup all that money. Like, why would I want to do that when I can literally work for myself yeah. and, release, and release what I want, when I want, and actually get paid and keep the money to where I can, you know, 
do stuff that needs to be done, like helping pay for bills and helping friends out. Like, hello, labels are out. Independent artists doing good shit. I mean, hell, take a look at Tom McDonald and Upchurch. They're both 100% independent. They built their stuff from the ground up on their own with no help. Now look at them. Like, they both have blown the fuck up. That's it. Like, okay. it's insane. You can, like, oh, shit, I have to go. I have to go, oh, like, nearly half nine here. I'm so sorry. It was been lo- it's been lovely listening to you. And, like, oh, you know, oh, it's been fantastic. But I will speak yeah, to you later, nice. okay? I'll send you a message. All right, okay, sounds good. Talk- I'll speak to All you later. Right, yeah, Lots of love. Bye. Bye.